Hi guys, welcome to day three of the Tablet Mastered free iPad video lessons. Um, in this video we're going to cover how to connect to Wi-Fi because that's going to be something that you want to do pretty much as soon as you get the iPad out of the box. Um, just a quick recap, uh, the first video that we uh, were going through was the um, the buttons on the iPad and what they do. So that was day one, like explaining the buttons, the headphone, where your headphones go, how to turn volume up, how to mute the iPad, what the home button does, and basically every single button on your iPad so you know what you're doing. Uh, on day two, we went through how to control the iPad, how to swap between pages, as you can see I'm doing on the screen here, what apps are, and how to change which apps you have in the quick bar down here okay because you'll use more apps than others and you can put your most used apps down in the quick bar so that was day two and we're day three now um, and as I say I'm gonna quickly run through how to connect to Wi-Fi now this video there's no real way that I can actually assist you um, or rather there's no real way that I can assist everybody watching this video because everyone will have a different setup okay but what I will do is underneath this video you will see a link to the free email course that's that's how you should be viewing these videos but as they're on YouTube you might not have received an email telling you to come to this video now if you're just browsing YouTube and you're just looking for help with your iPad you will find a link underneath this video that will take you through to the free seven day course and you can get access to the entire course for, for free and the best thing is you will get a contact email for me and then if you can't connect to Wi-Fi using this video simply send me a quick email and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible and we, we can run through it together but this should help you. Um, what you want to do then, in most cases, to connect to Wi-Fi, you want to tap Settings here. It's the app that looks like a gear cog. Okay, so you just tap that with your finger. And, um, and it will open up all the settings. Now, there's so we'll be exploring some of these in later videos, but there's so many different settings. You've, you can see them here. They're all down the left. Um, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, no, and so on. And you can scroll down for more. You'll find lots and lots there. You'll find settings specific to your apps. You'll find settings for the iPad. But all we're concerned with now is Wi-Fi. And you can see here, what will happen is when you've got your iPad out of the box, and obviously I'm, I'm not going to switch Wi-Fi off, on my iPad while I'm showing you because then I won't be able to stream the screen to you but what you want to do is tap on here where my mouse cursor is Wi-Fi and then make sure you've got this set to on and then all being well as long as you've got a wireless router and you're near the wireless router you will see you see that little spinning circle that comes up that will come up and your router name should appear here you can see mine here okay um, now if you've got a padlock there that means that you're going to need the Wi-Fi key now that's normally a series of numbers or numbers and letters that you will find on the back of your wireless router in most cases at home when you've got your internet service provider they will send you the router and it will have that key on the back so simply go up to your router and check the back and you're looking for something called Wi-Fi key now when you've got that all you do is tap that arrow or you could tap in the white bit of the um, where it's got your router name so in this white area here you tap once and it will ask you for the key and then assuming you've got that you type that in with the keyboard will pop up on the iPad you simply type in the numbers and letters exactly it is case sensitive and then once you've done that you submit it and you will hopefully connect to Wi-Fi when you've connected you will see a tick like this 
Now just a quick word, if you're out and about and you're sort of at a cafe or coffee shop or anywhere outside and it says free Wi-Fi, you connect in exactly the same manner. But do bear in mind, if you're out and about, you normally will see a network like this. It won't say BT Open Zone. It might do um, if you're based in the UK and if that's what the coffee shop's using. But in the US it might say something different, but it's just the name of the network and you probably won't see a padlock on a public network. So it's just something to bear in mind because you it's not very secure. So don't go checking your bank account details when you're out and about in a coffee shop is what I'm saying. But that is how you connect to Wi-Fi. I'll just quickly run through it again. Um, and just as we're doing it, we might as well stay with the tips. Here's the home button here. So I'm going to push that and it goes back to this screen. That's how you get back. If, if you're ever in doubt, you're using an app and you want to get back to this screen, just tap that and in most cases it will bring you back. So, all you need to do if you didn't catch it first time, settings and tap it once. And then make sure Wi-Fi is selected on the left. Make sure it's turned on by tapping that. It will say off and you just tap it and it will go to on. And then just select your Wi-Fi network and enter the key if necessary. Um, just one thing I thought I'd cover as well. If you're back at this screen, say for instance you cannot find that settings app. You should, you should have it on your iPad, but say you cannot find it. All you need to do is from left to right swipe across to the search and type in settings. Okay? And... Um, just tap that here and it will take us to settings that way. That's if you can't find it. But fairly straightforward and fairly necessary. Once you're connected, you shouldn't have to do that again um, unless you lose the connection. But it's fairly straightforward. Okay, guys, that's it for day three. Tomorrow we will run through the internet and well, not the internet as a whole, but... Um, using the iPad and browsing the web, which is obviously something that you'll want to do. So we'll run through that. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there, and I will see you in the next video. Um, just before I go, when you receive the email with these videos, with this free video course, all you need to do to contact me is hit on reply and send me an email. So if, for, it, if for instance, you cannot connect to Wi-Fi um, doing what I've just shown you, just let me know and I'll run through some different options with you and we can work through it together. And obviously check out the link below this video to get the free course. Okay guys, I'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.